remembering their 17 classmates and teachers who will never return. This is the most difficult of days. Pupils walking back to school, trying to re-establish a routine when the world around them now looks anything but normal. Hundreds of police officers came to show solidarity, to reassure, and to guard the perimeter. American schools may have changed forever, and these children sense it. Honestly, it makes me really nervous to walk up to school knowing that there's so many more police than there were before. It feels like a fortress, not a yeah. school. It feels like, like a jail. Obviously, they're here to protect us, but it does feel uncomfortable like knowing that like, I can't come to school and be safe. Among those returning is David Hogg, the student activist demanding change to gun laws. Going back to school today is not a step, it's a hurdle. He is appalled at the ideas emerging from the White House, including that of arming teachers. It's absolute madness, it is. Having weapons around a school is like throwing gasoline on a fire. It's going to cause an explosion. I mean, we have basically the weaponization of American schools. Absolutely. It's terrifying. And he says the NRA's fierce counterattack is encouraging. I absolutely do feel that the gun lobby is on the defensive. They're having to use this venom now to attack literally law enforcement. They're having to attack victims and witnesses of a mass shooting that are children to try to defend themselves. They've pushed, them, they've pushed themselves into this corner and now is when we strike. But in reality, chances for serious gun reform are fading, meaning schools must now be regarded as targets that need hardened security, just like airports and critical infrastructure. You guys got the power. The 3,000 students of Stoneman Douglas High School emerged this afternoon under the watchful eye of police officers. Inside, it had been a profoundly emotional few hours. It hurts all of us. Like we're all hurting. Like there isn't a person in that building right now that isn't that doesn't want to cry. About 90% of the kids were cried at least once today. Yeah, it was, it was, it was horrific. I've never seen that many people crying, especially in school at once. You know. Teachers from as far away as Hawaii were here to offer support. But beneath this display of unity is the deep cultural divide over the role of guns, a rift that has again been highlighted by this tragedy. Robert Moore, News at 10, in Parkland, Florida.